Forsaken is now live and it is a weekly reset. So we're going to go over what is available and some of the new things in Forsaken. And we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. So, it is the weekly reset and we will be going over the milestones as well as a lot of the things that have changed as of the Forsaken release. Forsaken release, Jesus. So, let's go over the milestones first. We have Forsaken, which we have to fight alongside Kate 6 to help Petravenge regain control of the dangerous prison of elders. Then we have a new season begins, which we need to speak with Tess Everest at the tower. So. Let's go ahead and look at the uh, European Dead Zone first. We have the Flashpoint on the EDZ, as well as a Heroic Adventure to complete as well. And then we have the Arms Dealer, uh, apparently strikes over here. That's pretty interesting. I wonder if anything's at the farm. Nope, nothing at the farm. Crucible. Crucible. We have uh, weekly complete Crucible matches. We need to do five for a quick play. For Rumble, we need to complete five. Doubles, complete five. And then competitive, complete five. We do have the Tangled Shore available. To start the campaign, you can start it at 3.30. And that's it for here. So, let's go ahead and see what Tess Everest has at the Eververse this week. Eververse is at your service. So, we get a Eververse bounty, which is pretty awesome. It'll give you 70 Bright Dust. As you can see, I have over 11,000 Bright Dust, so Bright Dust isn't an issue for me. So we're going to go ahead and take that, and I still do have a prototype engram, so I'm going to get rid of that. And now we do have new steadfast engrams. So as for the armor, just going to go through it real quick. We have the Dragonfly Regala Grasps, and this is pretty much what everything looks like on the Hunter. And obviously we have the Titan uh, set as well as the Warlock. Can't really go through it because for some reason they still don't allow you to preview things on different classes, which I think is stupid. But it's whatever. For ornaments, we have uh, Pride of Omelon for the Cold Heart. Going to try to go through these as fast as possible. Then we have the uh, Belvedere for the Prospector. Machinist Trove for the Tractor Cannon. That looks pretty badass, like a little Fallen theme. Then we have Cleans Up Good for the Darcy. That's yeah, pretty clean. The uh, Electric Violet for the Risk Runner. Lethal System for the Hard Light. Sneak Attack for the Colony. Uh, Iridescent Death for the Crimson. That's pretty cool. Then we have the Author of Devastation for the Wish Ender. And the Wish Ender is an exotic uh, bow. This is the ornament for it. It looks pretty badass. And then we have the Tangled Outrider for the Trinity Ghoul, which is the other exotic bow. And we have the Aim to Misbehave for the Malfices, or however you say that. Uh, 
And then we have the Guardian Angel for the Chaperone. And apparently we also get legendary ones as well. Hmm. I'm going to go ahead and go through these real quick. So, as for armor ornaments, we have the Victorian Silverhawk for the Celestial Nighthawk. Then we have the Turbo Kickers for the Stompies. The Electronic Midcage for the Insurmountable Skull Fort. I'm sorry, Mind Cage. And they will let me preview it. That's okay. The uh, Nephrite Paragon for the Eternal Warrior, as well as the Freight of the Dark for the Netherrack Sin, and then the uh, Transcendent Geometry for the Vesper of Radiance. Unfortunately, Bungie still needs to change this. Go Shells! We have four new exotic gold shells. We have the Peerless Precision Shell. That looks pretty cool. Then we have the Shank Shell. Ew. This thing looks ugly. <laughs> then we have the Tyrant Shell. Kind of looks like SIVA-ish to me. And last but not least, we have the Sanctified Vigilance Shell. Looks pretty cool. And then we have your wonderful lot of legendary shells. I'm not going to go over all of them. Because there's way too many of them. Let's go ahead and check out the emotes. We have the All Mine emote. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Then we have the red card emote. Oh yeah, that that's definitely the Spikes man card. Taking it away. Then we have the poultry petting. Ever wanted to pet your chicken? In game? Oh yeah, definitely can. <laughs> Then we have the All Alone. It just looks depressing. The Sad Trombone. And last but not least, the Unbridled Enthusiasm. Oh, 
Okay. And we got a whole bunch of other emotes here. Legendary as well as rare. Go ahead and check those out. Whenever you guys get the chance. Sparrows. We have the Hikuba S. Then we have the Warrior Steed. Yeah. And then last but not least, the Ravenger's Ride. I don't know what Bungie's thinking. <laughs> I really don't. I like that they're making new ones. Um, but yeah. Then you have all of your legendary ones for Forsaken. Ships. We have this wonderful thing I can't even pronounce. But it's 22. Then we have the Death to Kells. The Unfinal Shapes. That's a cool little hive looking ship. As well as the Tall Tail. That looks pretty different. And then, you, like I said before, we also have your legendary ships as well. Shaders. We have a whole bunch of that. <laughs> I'm not going to go through the shaders. And as for mods. We have interesting uh, new mods. And it's for your ghost's projection. Hmm. And then we also have trans matter effects. However, I will go over the new trans matter effects. We have corrupt ether. Reef awoken. Reef shimmer. That looked pretty cool. And then Reef Oracle. And that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and... Okay. Oh, I didn't notice that I have 1100 silver. I definitely didn't buy any silver. Let's go ahead and buy something. Always. The Belvedere and the Everzer Eververse Bounty Note. Pretty interesting. Let's uh, see what we have in this. Poultry Petting. Lethal Systems. Wonderful Gear. Warm up. Hmm. I'm not going to just waste any of uh, my silver on that. Also, we do have weekly Eververse bounties, so go ahead and pick these up whenever you can. And that thing that uh, she just gave me allows the Eververse bounty note is what allows you to pick these up, which is pretty interesting. Now go ahead and visit Zavala and pick up all these new bounties. He has new pursuits as well. And seasonal engrams. I'm sorry, seasonal... Uh... Well, this is a shader and this is an emblem. And then you got com your consumables on the next page. Just like Zavala, go ahead and go to Shax and pick up all these bounties. I'm actually going to do that now. And he has this awesome uh, 500 uh, helmet, but even better, better devils with range finder and kill clip. That just looks amazing. It has fast draw, true sight, and hit mark, accurized rounds, 
extended mag, rangefinder, as well as kill clip. And it looks pretty, pretty badass, especially with that rangefinder and kill clip combo. If you make your way to Master Raul, that wonderful crypt arc of ours, we can actually delete shaders. Multiple at once. However, we waited all this time to delete only five shaders at a time. I mean, I wanted the ability to go ahead and click all of them and just delete them all at once, but apparently we don't get that luxury. If you make your way to Banshee 44, you can see that we do have new gear mods for Forsaken, and as of right now, we have a recovery mod as well as a radar tuner. And if we go ahead and turn our wonderful reputation in, it takes forever because fortunately it only lets you do 10 at a time. We can get Engram and then go ahead and grab new Forsaken gear with what looks to be an old shader. For those who don't know, you guys can actually go ahead and visit Amanda Holiday and go ahead and grab this wonderful uh, Athena Victorious. Now, for those who don't know, this was the exclusive Sparrow for those who actually had Virgin Media, um, which obviously include the ultra-fast Virgin Fibre broadband and something that, you know, people in America could not get. So I'm going to go ahead and get this because I want one. Go ahead and visit the Drifter, because he has stuff as well. Welcome to Gambit, kid. He has the these wonderful Gambit bounties, kid, you're gonna against as well as pursuits. Hunt for the enemies of humanity. I name them, you kill them. Now they're going to go ahead and preview this uh, mysterious invitation, in or not, because we can't preview them. Yay! Better you do your job, the rougher you make it for the other team. But it's a pretty cool ghost. Y'all are gonna have to bang knuckles face to face with the other team from time to time. And last but not least, for all the NPCs in the tower, go ahead and visit our wonderful Soraya Hawthorne and grab these wonderful clan bounties from her. What can I do for you? Wish I'd had that years ago. So, real quick, I wanted to go over the character UI with you guys. We now have uh, two extra tabs. We have the Triumphs tab, as well as the Collections tab. Now, if you have tons of armor and weapons inside of your vault, go ahead and delete them. Even exotics, because all of that is now here in the Collections tab. So, you can definitely go ahead and make room, because you will not need any of that there, unless you plan on using it. As for the Triumphs, every time you unlock a Triumphs tab, I'll go ahead and show you. You get Claim, and then your total score will actually rise. No idea what happens after you get a full total score, though. Most likely, since it's Bungie, they'll probably just give you a number. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to watch this video as well. You never know, you just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more, because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.